good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm at the gym and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing. A couple of weeks ago, my pelvis started like aching excruciatingly. And it's definitely the worst symptom I've had so far through the whole pregnancy and I would honestly describe it as debilitating as debilitating and my physio has given me a couple of exercises I can do because she's diagnosed me with SPD. I'll explain a little bit later what that all means and what's been going on but for now I thought I would take you guys with me into the gym and see the exercises I'm doing to try to stabilize my pelvis and make things a little bit less sore. session today I started out with all of my physio exercises and I kind of use those as a little bit of a warm-up as they're all about kind of stabilizing my pelvis and engaging the glutes which are really going to help kind of like hold everything together really then I was in the mood to train booty so I did a quick little leg session I was in the gym total for like 45 minutes now I am in a bit of a rush off to the acupuncturist as that's literally the only thing that's been helping my pelvis like everything else is just kind of stopping it from getting worse but the acupuncture is the only thing that's genuinely making a substantial difference in making it better I absolutely hate needles like I literally sit at this acupuncturist and just cry for an hour while she like pops needles in me but I've gone twice already and it's been so amazing so I'm sucking it up and I'm just gonna keep going and I'll take you guys along with me but first I do need to go home and shower because I am a bit gross. 
but it's more like you could be getting more headaches or, or not sleeping properly. Yeah, I started to know. I thought I would jump on here and just give you guys a little bit of an update. Now in my third trimester of my pregnancy and I'm about to hit 34 weeks. Can't believe how quickly everything is going to come. I wasn't sure if I should do this update because I didn't want to like come on here and be a negative Nancy and just complain but... At the end of the day, this is my experience and I guess that's what I'm sharing and that's the whole point of this. Please take this in a good way. I'm not complaining, just being kind of honest with what's been going on. About three or four weeks ago, I started getting really, really just bad pain in my pelvis, particularly when I was doing things like working out or exercising or even just like walking. And at first I tried to ignore it hoping that it would kind of go away but then it did get quite painful and quite limiting so I had a chat to my physio and my midwife and they both said like it's pelvic girdle pain it's not to worry it's super common um, and my physio gave me a whole bunch of exercises just to do to like strengthen the glutes and told me a bunch of things that I couldn't do because basically the idea is at this point, it's probably not going to get better. It'll be a bit uncomfortable. Just try not to make it any worse. It just means your pelvis is a little bit unstable and try to avoid things that split your legs. I was like, okay, no problems. I can do that. A little bit limiting in the gym, but you know, I've had such a good run so far. If the last couple of months I'm a little bit uncomfortable or in a little bit of pain, that's fine. I can deal with that. But it got worse very quickly. I got sick again, so I wasn't even training and I was in so much pain. I was doing everything right. I was doing all of my exercises from the physio. There were days where I would get up and I can't even walk downstairs to the coffee shop to get a coffee without being in like excruciating pain. Getting a lot worse very quickly and I wasn't even doing anything at all to aggravate it. And I was doing actually everything to do the opposite. I went back to see my physio for like a one-on-one -on -one session. It wasn't just your standard low-level pelvic girdle pain that is quite common in pregnancy, um, that it actually progressed to SPD, which is like the official medical term for it, symphysis pubis dysfunction. So there's too much of this hormone called relaxin that is being pumped through my body to loosen up all the ligaments to make things easy for labor but there's way too much, way too early, and my whole pelvis is really unstable. So it was like shooting pain. It literally feels like your pelvis is like rubbing and like grating. And the only way I could describe it is as if every time you move, someone is like booting you in the crotch wearing a steel cap boot. Honestly, the last couple of weeks, I've been a little bit upset and a little bit down and pretty sooky, if I'm honest. I couldn't even walk and hardly do anything in the gym. I've been feeling a little bit sorry for myself because I am quite an active person and the idea of just sitting and resting and doing nothing, it's boring and I feel so unproductive, which is silly, but that's just like, yeah, so I haven't been training and I just felt like I was doing everything right and doing all of the exercises and like why me to get it so bad. I did a whole bunch of research as well about the severity of it and if it gets too bad, um, basically it can impact your chances of a normal delivery, pretty high correlation of additional medical interventions. If it gets too bad, which is something, you know, if it's necessary, of course, you know, whatever's going to be is just not my ideal delivery. So to kind of be told 
so early that yeah it's looking like it's not going to work out the way you want it's just kind of a lot so the last couple of weeks have been pretty sucky <laughs> it's been getting progressively worse and worse and i've not been having a great time it got to a point where like i was in tears even just trying to get up off the couch it was constantly hurting but i've had a new lease on life i've seen a whole bunch of additional specialists so i actually have been seeing a acupuncturist one of the only things that has statistically significant correlation with improved or like slowing down of the worsening of the effects is acupuncture and I 100% believe in acupuncture, like definitely, like that shit works, but I'm also terrified of needles. I knew it was going to work before I did it because I know acupuncture does work, it's just not something that I do <laughs> normally, but this is one of those times where I just needed to suck it up and do it, so I did and I felt such a massive difference. The first session I went to on Monday, by Tuesday I was feeling well enough to be back in the gym, I was training arms. So, you know, nothing crazy, but the fact that I could even get back in there and start to feel good again was amazing. I can't describe how happy that made me after over a week and a half of just not doing any physical activity at all, aside from my physio exercises. Keeping up with my physio exercises, which is just things to like strengthen the glutes, which are the supporting muscles. So it's gonna try and take some of the pressure off the pelvis as well as just kind of trying to keep off it, not flare it up, not aggravate the injury. That's what's kind of going on. And that's what I've been dealing with for the last couple of weeks on top of being sick and miserable and a sucky bitch, but I am feeling a little bit better and I'm just, yeah, feeling a lot more positive about trying to improve it and try to maintain it and just kind of manage the symptoms and just get through and hopefully it'll all be worth it well i'm sure it will all be worth it uh, once i do have this little guy in my arm so super quick body update as i said i am 34 weeks at the moment and i think i've been really lucky with just the way he's sitting and i definitely think that maintaining a healthy and active lifestyle and eating good whole foods has made a huge difference for me. You can actually see he's sitting really high at the moment, aside from the fact that my stomach has just rounded out, which is just because I'm so far along now. He's actually sitting really high and that's literally from the acupuncture. So she has been putting a needle right in the top of my head to kind of draw him up off my pelvis, um, which you will have to stop doing in a couple of weeks when it is time for him to start journeying downwards. But for the moment, she's been doing that to lift him up and I can actually visibly see the difference in my stomach from just this one specific thing she's been doing, which is crazy. I think overall, I definitely have put on a little bit of weight everywhere. So I just feel like a little bit bigger. I don't feel like there's like a certain part of me that's like bigger specifically I just feel like as a person I'm a little bit bigger if that makes sense although I do think I am storing a lot more weight in my thighs and my butt but I do notice that my thighs are a little bit bigger than what they were they're a little bit less lean but I do still think they have enough definition that I'm okay with it I'm still wearing all of my pre-pregnancy clothes so I'm still wearing a six to eight or an extra small in pretty much everything, there are, of course, some clothes that just don't fit. So anything that's like tight around the stomach or high-waisted. But all of like my tights and my tops and stuff, like they're just the same that I had. So I've actually been really lucky because I've been training arms and shoulders so much. And I don't normally train them. I think I've got a lot of definition there that I didn't previously have. So I don't know if it's just like a combination of size and my training but they just look muscly and big for me anyway. <laughs> I hope this has been helpful to you, particularly if you've been suffering with SPD or any kind of hip or pelvis pain during pregnancy. Like I said, it's been really hard and it definitely sucks, but there are things you can do and I have noticed a huge difference. Don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe as it does really support my channel and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.